doing Eric here. Today is Tuesday, March 6th, 2018. Another fucking cold motherfucker here in Eldora this morning on the bottom of Indian Peaks. Wind's blowing. Temperature's about in the single digits, maybe 9 or 10 degrees. And the good thing is, though, the sun is shining, so... And they're saying the wind's gonna die down at some point today, so it should, hopefully it'll be a little bit nicer of a day then. All right, man, we're ready to roll. We got jam box blasting. Wow. Our other lift operator's riding for the service ride. We got this shit all dug out. We've only had one customer so far this morning. Roommate Roscoe called me up again last night. I, I answered the phone this time and He's telling me, I guess, you know, he hasn't been home since last Thursday. You know, he's also my living dog sitter, so my dog's been suffering. He's been having to stay home alone. I try to get someone to come over every day and let him out, but I didn't today because Roscoe said he's going to be home today. But this is the third time he's told me that he's going to be home today. And Ned, either one of those times he never showed up. I don't understand what the fuck's going on with him. Like, like I said, man, I think maybe he's fucking worried he doesn't have his rent money or something. Maybe he blew his rent money. I don't know. I hope not. Because, you know, that's going to put me in a fucking shitty situation if he doesn't pay his rent, man. You know, it's not like I can't cover the bills and shit, but, you know, I'm going to have to fucking be an asshole to him, you know, and fucking threaten him and shit, you know, tell him, oh, I don't know. Maybe he wants to leave. I don't know. But, but yeah, he says he was in the hospital. He's like, yeah, man, I've been in the hospital. But he called me the day before, he never said nothing about the hospital. That guy fucking goes to the hospital on a fucking, if he's got a little sniffle in his nose, man. He likes, he likes to take advantage of his fucking Medicare and disability, I guess, man. Because, you know, if he feels one little bit twinge of fucking illness or whatever, he wants to go right to the hospital, man. You know, he's, he's the opposite of me, man. He's got, he's got like, 10 or 12 different kinds of medications that he takes it. And, and, and it's fucking crazy. It's crazy, man. I gotta take all here. I guess he's got some form of diabetes. But not the kind, I guess it's the kind that fucks with your, your salt in your system, not the sugar. And yeah, so. Anyways, yeah, hopefully Roscoe will show up today and things will get back to normal a little bit for the last month of the ski season. And then we'll discuss how much longer he's going to be staying at my house. You know, if he fucking, if he didn't have to be such a fucking pain in the ass and such a fucking idiot, you know, wouldn't bother me, man, but the guy's tough to live with. <coughs> Anyways, Roscoe tells me he's been in the hospital, man. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't really believe anything the guy tells me, man. You know, he's, He's told me some fucking whoppers before, man. I caught him in lies. You don't need to know. He'll just say, well, man, I was just joking, man. I, I was only kidding. I was just lying. I was just joking. He told me that he was, he was in Iraq in 1995. First of all, the United States was not fucking occupying Iraq in 1995. And he said that he punched a drill sergeant in the face and got a dishonorable discharge. And he, yeah, yeah, so I kind of confronted him like, dude, I know for a fact that fucking the United States was not in Iraq in 1995. <laughs> He's like, well, you know, he never denied it or, you know, but who knows, maybe it's true, but yeah, he's, I've, I've caught him in a few lies, man. And so, yeah, the, the dude just has, has a tendency to fucking make shit up. So I don't know if it's true that he was in the hospital or not. I don't really give a fuck where he's been, you know? If he comes back and fucking does what he's supposed to do, help me take care of my dog, pay me my rent, it'll all be good. Otherwise, I really don't give a shit about you being in the hospital, you fucking hypochondriac. I'm not buying any of your bullshit, Roscoe. Don't try to bullshit me. Anyways, I can't really blame Roscoe for the way he is, man. He can't help it, you know. I don't know if he was born that way or if he's just a victim of the fucking chemical and fucking 
mental, mental dumbing down of America, you know, because everybody's being dumbed down. And they just don't have a clue what's going on. You know, I try to, you know, at first I tried talking to him about. You know, I'm uh, at the bottom of Corona right now. Just to see what he knows, you know, if he has any clue about Great. I won't have to do what that the fuck's going on in the world and shit. And obviously, he don't have a fucking clue about it, man. And he doesn't even care. Just like most people, you try to talk to him about, you know, all the shit that's going on in the world, like chemtrails and fucking, you know, the dumbing down of society and, you know, the fake fucking shootings and all that shit, man. And, you know, all the shit I talk about in my videos. You know, I, I, I talked to him a little bit about the, the the recent Florida shooting, you know, and all, you know, he think it was real. He believes the fucking official story on everything. And all he could talk about was, if that shit happened to my daughter, if that was my daughter, you would know what I would do. There would be hell you pay if something like that happened. Because I guess his daughter goes to the school of mines, you know, and I'm just thinking, dude, that shit ain't gonna fucking happen to your daughter, dude. It's all fake. These people are all crisis actors, but you know, I can't argue with the guy. He's just—he just doesn't have a fucking clue, and he never will. You know, just like a lot of people in the world today, man. You try to fucking tell them, talk to them about reality, and they're like, "I don't want to hear you. You're a bad man. No, don't talk to me about that. I don't—I don't care. I just want to live in my little world and 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 just be involved in my in my phone and just leave me alone." It's just, it's just like working up here, man. Like, I got to deal with so many stupid fucking people all day. It's unbelievable. They have no clue, man. They don't, and they don't even care. It's just, you know, it's like, how the fuck do they get through life, man? And they wouldn't, you know, I got to think for them. You know, if, if I'm not thinking for them, they're going to get fucking killed by these fucking lifts. And I see it all day long. And, and I, I, it's unbelievable to me that that people could be that fucking stupid, man. But they anyways, are. Anyways, yeah, man, it is an interesting topic how how dumbed down our fucking society is, man. It's it's all been done on purpose, man. Like, through the education system, through pharmaceuticals, they put kids on Ritalin at a young age and fuck them up for the rest of their lives. Like, in, you name it, the food we eat, man. The fucking, they put, they put estrogen in food to make men more feminine and docile, you know? They want, you know, it's all designed to make good little fucking slaves and good little sheep for the slaughter, you know? The whole fuck, even the college education system, man, it's, it's designed to get you in debt and train you to be a good fucking monkey that they can trust with the keys to the machine because you're so far in debt from your college education that you're going to be a good little fucking monkey and do your job and not question anything so you can pay off your fucking student loan. But yeah, yeah, the, Ameri the average American's brain is so fucking clogged up with chemicals, man. It's it's unbelievable, man. They say that we're only capable of using like 10% of our brain because of the, the genetic, you know, like I said in many videos in the past, that we've been genetically modified a long time ago to make us not be able to live up to our full potential, you know. And that's the way they want us, man. So that's why we only are capable of using 10% of our brain. And then they, they do this whole chemical dumbing down and fucking educational dumbing down into where the people are probably only using like one or two percent of their brains and and that's where we're at that's why we got so many fucking zombies walking around man the fucking zombie apocalypse is upon us yeah i bet you if i went and seen a psychiatrist right now he would fucking diagnose me with some kind of fucking mental illness you know they have they have a new mental illness for people like me that fucking don't blindly follow authority and they, they put you on a drug to fucking dumb your ass down like the rest of society because you, you think for yourself too much and that's what they would call a mental illness nowadays and they definitely wouldn't let me have a gun time to take care of some paperwork Oh yeah, what a nice restroom, huh? I really like these new restrooms, man. They're pretty sweet. Much nicer than the old ones. All right, man, we're winding it down here at IP. Heading towards the last hour of the day on my Friday. 
and the weather just turned beautiful man it's still kind of chilly out there just slight breeze blowing but man so much nicer than it was yesterday and earlier today it's starting to feel like springtime again except for the cold air yeah hopefully my two days off will be pretty nice and we'll hopefully that that was like we just experienced winter's last gas so i'm hoping and we won't see any more really cold weather like we just had last couple days so anyways yeah man i'm gonna go home and enjoy my weekend thanks for watching we'll talk to you guys soon